Hello, this is Norman Duhart, and in this video we're going to look at installing vCenter Server 5.5 on a Windows 2012 server. Now in order to install vCenter Server, you can go to your vCenter Server CD, select Auto Run, And this will open up the, the uh, installer window here. And you can see here VMware vCenter Server. There's a couple of different ways you can do this install. You can do a simple install, which will install all of the components on a single machine. Or you can do a custom install. With a custom install, you can separate the different components in your installation and place them on different computers in your environment. So you have your vCenter sing single sign-on, your vSphere web client, your vCenter inventory service, and your vCenter server. Now we're going to do a simple install and place all of these components on this one uh, Windows 2012 uh, server. So under a simple install, as you can see again, uh, single sign-on, vSphere client, uh, web client, vCenter inventory service, and vCenter server all on the same host. In this particular instance, it's going to be a virtual machine. And again, alternatively, you can customize the location of each. Uh, you can get some additional information by going to this particular link here, and then you have your prerequisites. Now I'm going to select the simple install. Any prerequisites that are installed will show up under this particular section here. So install. And your welcome screen here. Next, accept the EULA. So there's our host name, our FQDN. Our IP address, the fact that it's joined to a Windows 2012 domain, and that the DNS is configured so that it can successfully resolve the names. Add test.net as a native Active Directory identity source. If you have Active Directory in your environment, uh, this can be automatically added as an identity source by using this particular allowing this particular checkbox uh, to remain checked. Your domain name, vSphere.local, the username is administrator. That'll be the default that we're going to use. Then you put in your password here. And confirm it. And select next. Your, your sites. Uh, here's your HTTPS port 7444. As you can see, this is for your vCenter single sign-on. Now, we'll just go on and install, and this will give you the location. Uh, program files, VMware infrastructure. That'll be the install location, so you can locate that later. Here's a, re a review of your options. It's a new installation. First server in the domain. There's your domain name your HTTPS port, the site name, and the lookup service will be installed and configured as new. Okay, so now to install the additional components, uh, we should go to vSphere Web Client, select Install, and as you can see, vCenter uh, Single Sign-On is already installed. Select English, and the installation process will proceed. So here's the install shield wizard getting ready to install the client. So I'll select next, accept the EULA, and next. And here's our default location, uh, program files, VMware infrastructure. Next, here's our HTTP and HTTPS ports. 
1990 and 9443. Select Next. Administrator at vSphere.local. This is your SSO administrator and username. Then we'll put in our password here. And here's our lookup server URL vcenter.test.net colon 744 for lookup service slash SDK. Uh, this is a SHA-1 fingerprint on the SSO lookup service. Uh, leave certificate to accept the certificate. Click yes, otherwise no. We'll just take the certificate here. And if we want to review or change any of the information, we can go back here. We'll just install. And here we're going to install the web client. And we're done here, so I'll just select to finish. And as you can see, web client successfully installed, allowed for the services to load before accessing the web client for the first time. Now the inventory service. Select English for our language. Inventory service setup is preparing the installation wizard. We'll select next. Accept the EULA. Next. Default location. Next. And the FQDN of the server, vcenter.test.net. Next. And your ports. We have our memory inventory size. We're just going to take the default here and go to next. SSO administrator username and password. Uh, vCenter server port location for the lookup service. And next. Certificate information. wanted to change any of your settings you can select back here we're going to proceed and registers with vCenter single sign-on and finish. Now the last thing we want to do is we want to install the vCenter server. And as you can see prerequisites vCenter single sign-on and the inventory service we've installed those already and select install and we want to use English your initial preparation screen. All right, so we're ready now to actually begin the process. So I'll select next here, accept the EULA. The license key, we can put this in now or later. I'll do it later. Select next. This will be the database that's going to store your vCenter inventory. So all of the objects that your vCenter server will manage. This will install a Microsoft SQL Server 2008 Express instance. If you have your own database, you can use that one. We're going to use the Express, the built-in database here. Okay, so we're going to use a Windows Local System account. Uh, here's again your FQDN of the server. Uh, and we'll select Next. Now, with the VMware vCenter server, you can join multiple vCenter servers together in what's known as linked mode. Uh, and they can share information between them. Uh, we're going to create a standalone vCenter server here because we're only going to have the one. So we'll select next here. 
Here's a list of all the relevant ports. Uh, next, your inventory size. We're going to do small here. Next, and one more time with your administrator, SSO admin, username, and password. Probably also want to make a note of this. More certificate information. Sign on information, register recenter, single sign on as administrator or group, and we'll just take the default here. Some basic configuration information, your lookup service, your inventory service and the ports, your default location. Now if we wanted to enable data collection, to share some of our customer experience improvement program information, we could select this option here. And as you can see, we're finally installing the VMware vCenter server. Okay, so that's all the configuration that we have to do. So now it's just going to do some uh, file copies, services. Uh, start up the services, load the different modules. So instead of just watching this procedure, I'm going to jump to the end and then we'll go into the vCenter server uh, using the vSphere web client and we'll do some modification on our ESX hosts at that point. Okay, and here you can see that our installation is completed, and I'll select Finish, and I'll just close out here.